Hey guys, welcome back to Wall.com. So again, we have uh, Jerry Matheson with Select Arc in with us today in the studio. We're gonna be doing some hard facing. So I talked to Jerry kind of off camera a little bit. Why don't you go ahead and tell the viewers, um, oh, let's start off for those that don't know, what is hard facing? When's a, a good application for it? Okay, hard facing is a process in which we rebuild something that has been worn down or uh, um, actually uh, worn beyond its use and the trick to hard facing is not getting too hard so that you wear out a more expensive part. Okay. You want the least expensive part to wear out, and then you want to uh, build that back up with uh, alloys that uh, will wear well, but uh, won't wear out the more expensive part. It's cheaper than replacing the then part. Than replacing the part or right. letting it wear out and then exactly. having it repaired after the fact. So some of the applications of this would be like rock crushing equipment, earth moving equipment, uh, buckets, blades. Debarking materials, uh, uh, farm equipment for, uh, for plowing, okay. cultivators, things of that nature. You guys have probably seen uh, different artwork, you know, where people go in there and they kind of get a little eccentric with some of the designs that they put in there. I think that's more for show, but it's also has a good layer of protection on there, so it kind of serves two purposes. So today we're gonna go through and we're gonna use... Um, BU-MCG, right. which is a metal core gas shielded. Okay, and that's to, to build up a layer. So we're gonna build the surface up before we actually put the hard facing on, right? Most applications, when you're doing a, a hard surfacing or hard facing uh, rebuild, they machine off uh, uh, a certain percentage of what was on there, and then you have a base. If that base isn't very hard, um, and you put uh, your hard material right on that, uh, you don't really have a good foundation to build on. So if the softer it is, the more flexible it becomes and your hard facing uh, uh, alloys can actually break off. Okay. So the BU is actually like the, the base or the foundation so that uh, you can put your harder material on top of it and it not just fall off. If, if you were to put uh, uh, a piece of glass on, uh, on grass or on dirt and walk on it, it's going to shatter. Mm -hmm. If you put it down on uh, a piece of flat concrete like the floor here, um, you're going to be able to stand on that without it cracking or shattering. So the BU is actually putting that, that foundation layer on so that we can put something harder on top of it and it doesn't shatter. Kind of like a substrate to kind of build the, uh, exactly. the foundation between the base material we're going to be trying to protect and then that ultimate layer of hard facing. Exactly. Okay, so um, <clears throat> we've got the, the wire loaded up in there. We're going to use some 045. It's a gas shielded metal core. So we're using 75% argon, 25% uh, CO2. Correct. Uh, running about 345 inches a minute, 29 mm -hmm. volts. Now you're gonna lay down a, a pretty wide bead on here, right? I'll actually weave it, and then I'll overlap uh, about three or four passes to get a layer, and then uh, that should be sufficient for this application to go onto the harder uh, uh, build up material. Okay, and then because we're using the 7525, we're gonna get uh, quite a bit of spatter with this, right? Yeah, you don't have enough argon in that mix to get into a true spray, very similar to your metal core types mm -hmm. or even a solid wire. Um, if you're below like 80, 82 percent, 80 percent, you get more kickoff of the fine spatter and you'll see that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll spray this down with some uh, Contesco anti-spatter to keep all that from building up on there so we don't get it into our materials. So let's go ahead, we'll get this cleaned up and then uh, we'll go ahead and throw a couple passes on here. Okay. All right, so we got a piece of three-quarter inch plate here. You're just going to run a couple passes on here just to do a build-up, kind of show uh, the application of it, how you would do that on, on a larger part. Obviously, yeah. we don't have any buckets laying around here that we can practice right. on. But, but uh, uh, this is how we'll do it in the lab. We'll do, uh, depending on the material, we may do a two or three layer build-up, and then we'll uh, do a hardness test on it so we can make sure that if we say we're, we're going to be using our 58 GB, that's uh, going to be between uh, 58 and 60 uh, Rockwell C on two layers. So okay. um, what I'll do is I'll do about a one inch weave along this edge, then I'll do a three or four passes, then we'll get a base to put our 58 on. Okay. All right. Sounds good.
Uh, so you get the first layer down. Now when you go to lay your next pass, are you going to do any overlap? Are you yeah, going to bring it right a, up to the I'll edge? I'll do a slight overlap, not too much, just enough to tie into that. Okay. And as you can see, there's, there's a fair amount of spatter on 7525. Of course, if we were running 9010, you could expect to see a transfer very similar to like a carbon steel metal core right. where you get very little spatter. It'll be a lot smoother, less spatter, but I mean, we're going to... We're going to cover this anyway. Yeah, you can do the, a little bit of cleaning on it, but at the end of the day, I mean, you're just covering that back up anyway, so it's That's not right. a beauty pageant. Exactly. All right, so we got the uh, the build-up passes on here. So what are we switching over to next? You said we got a different type of uh, gas shield of flux core we're actually going to use for the hard-facing properties. Right. We're going to go to uh, uh, the Selectware 58GB uh, FCG, which is flux core gas shielded. And now we'll get just, uh, it'll run, it'll run similar to a gas shield of flux core, but it'll be a lot more smoky because of the alloy. Um, and this, the build-up, it could be one layer, depending on how much you have to build up and hard face. It could be, you know, as many as you need. Mm -hmm. You're looking there probably now at uh, Rockwell C between 25 and 35. So in addition, this this build up stuff that um, it's more cost effective to use a build up with this versus you know if you had to the put two or three layers of if, the, if, uh, the hard facing on there. Exactly. If uh, typically the 58 GV is going to be in the 58 to 60 uh, Rockwell C range uh, with two layers and if you want to say you need to put uh, four or five layers on you're going to put your under layers on with the BU mm -hmm. which it, as you said is cost effective you're not paying for all the alloy that you get in the in the higher hardness products okay all right so we went ahead and got the uh, the wire switched out changed the settings a little bit we're now running about 360 inches a minute and 29 volts uh, Jerry why don't you kind of walk us through the uh, the process or the technique that you're going to do on this I know in the first First attempt, you ran three passes for the build-up layers. Is it going to be very similar for the hard-facing layers, or are we going to do smaller stringers? How's that going to work? No, I'll do a, I'll do a little bit wider, and I'll overlap the uh, the interface uh, between the two passes. So to get a full layer on top of this, it'll probably be two passes. Okay. Is what I'm thinking. Okay. So with this stuff, it's because we did a video with you guys before with uh, stringers versus weaves. So with this stuff, we can weave it because it's not structural. It's, uh, that's exactly right. Just to eliminate uh, the all abrasion. We're, all we're doing is putting a surface there to take the abrasion and uh, uh, mild impact. Um, with uh, a harder alloy now over top of this, both of these products, if, uh, if you had the, uh, uh, the build-up alloy and the flux core, that's all position. Okay. As well as this 58 uh, GV FCG, this is all position. Well, it looks like you got a nice little scorpion tail there. It's good. Just pull that off. off. Oh, that, there you go. The whole thing there. That's uh, even though you get a lot more smoke with uh, the 58 GV FCG, uh, this is the beauty of it. It really makes it, as far it's as hard clean facing weld. is concerned, makes uh, makes a nice looking weld. So we're just gonna go ahead and repeat that process. Yes, sir. Now, are I'll you gonna run. do some overlap on that, or just kind of pull it up to the edge? Uh, I'll I'll run into it. I'll overlap it uh, maybe a quarter of an inch or so. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and um, I'll clean it up for you and then um, throw another couple passes on there. All right. Facing in a nutshell, um, I mean, overall, you know, once once you get those other passes on there, those hard surfacing passes or hard facing passes, that spatter, I mean, it's pretty much gone. You don't have to worry about it anymore. So, it's, I uh, definitely see your point on that. And the thing, uh, as you could see, when we were putting uh, the 58 GV on, uh, you see a lot more smoke because of the alloy that's there. So, 
I mean, if you uh, if you have an application where you're doing uh, several layers, and uh, you can get with the BU, uh, you're going to get lower smoke, you're going to get lower cost for the material, and uh, you get a good base to put your hard facing material on. Yep. On a side note, as I've said before, when dealing with anything that's going to produce a lot of spatter, take the extra time to spray some uh, Contesco anti spatter on your table, so uh, man cub doesn't have to clean up after you. <laughs> Well, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. I uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you learned something. I know I did. Uh, I wasn't too familiar with uh, hard surfacing or hard facing uh, prior to this, so I learned quite a bit. Jerry, thanks for coming out. We pr definitely appreciate the support and the help you guys are providing us. Um, Till next time, make everyone better than your last.